Hey folks, my name is Tatiana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Ethereal Entertainer. Today I will be doing some astrological tarot readings for the month of December of 2022. Let's see how we're gonna finish out the year. Let's see what we've got in store for this holiday season. So I'm gonna be featuring this Modern Witch Tarot deck absolutely infatuated with this deck it's available on amazon if you feel drawn to this one i will also be pulling a bonus oracle card for each astrological sign this is the rose oracle by rebecca campbell super fond of this deck as well i hope that you get as much enjoyment out of it as i do i love the depictions in this deck it is fantastic and it's so beautiful because i love roses one of my favorite flowers hands down <laughs> so i also have some beautiful bracelets made by yours truly uh, from my Etsy shop, The Ethereal Construct. We have beautiful yellow and opalite colored glass beads with the evil eyes. These are available now, so feel free to check that out if you're wanting to get some gifts for yourself or some folks that you love for this holiday season. But yeah, let's get started. Hey Virgo, so we're going to get into your first sun placement. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. As for your moon placement, we have the Lover's card. And then for your rising placement, we have the Nine of Cups. Now getting on to your Oracle card for this month, we have Trust the Seasons. Very beautiful deck. I absolutely love the Rose Oracle deck. But yeah, we're going to get into what all of these cards mean, so stay tuned. Okay, Virgo, so let's start with your sun placement. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. So the Page of Wands is representative of inspiration, of having this new, newly found energy and um, just overall drive to go out there and do something, go out there and accomplish something. So think of it as the wand represents magic, our ability to bring things into the physical realm, right? Whether it be thoughts, ideas, feelings, it, bringing it into the, the material realm. But when the card is in the upside down position like it is, there's issue with that or delay of some sort. Maybe you have had some ideas that you've been, you know, contemplating about, but you're not quite ready to put them into action yet. This is a card that's saying, you know, if that's the case, take your time, you know, do your research, whatever it is you feel you need to do so that you're ready. The Page of Wands in Reverse is saying, you know, sometimes we stall, sometimes we, you know, take a little longer and drag our feet, but when you see the page of wands it's saying that's not what you're doing here you're actually taking your time and you should because you want it to be ready you want it to be you know the right timing and that you have all the resources that you need you're still in the gathering and thinking and planning process and that's okay acknowledge it and you know definitely go through the motions of that before you decide to you know feel confident enough to bring it out into the world um, this may also be reflective of a, a, a spiritual uh, or emotional type of growth. You know, you may be going through shifting and changing within yourself and maybe it's not something that you're super uh, enthusiastic about talking about yet, which is totally fine. You know, sometimes we, we have to go on these ventures on our own and see where it goes and where it takes us before we're comfortable enough to express and talk about that experience with other people. Um, but on the other hand, this may be representative of you have this energy, you have these ideas, but there's some sort of, you're feeling like some sort of block or delay or frustration, you know, maybe, maybe it's yourself, you know, that you're dealing with this. Like, you know, you have these ideas, you feel like they're great, but you also have this little voice in your head that's like, mm, don't know if that's a good idea. Don't know if this is going to come into fruition. Don't know if it's going to work. And it may be that you're struggling internally with yourself, with having the confidence and the gusto to be like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, I'm going to pursue this and make this happen for me. Or you may have been pursuing, you may have been putting in the work, but it seems like there's always these little things that get in the way, that trip you up. 
oh, it's a little pebble. But then you stumble over it and you fall and you scrape your knee. And it's like a bigger issue than what it looked like, right? And those type of situations happening back to back can be very frustrating. And it's just like, why am I even doing this? You know what I mean? Like, why am I even trying? Like, is it gonna happen for me? Is this not meant for me? And that page of wands in reverse, you know, can definitely be indicative of energy like that, where you're trying, you're trying, but it seems like nothing is lining up. Nothing is coming into fruition like you want it to, or you just don't know why you're doing it. You've gotten, you've lost touch with your why. And this, oh my gosh, I'm a Virgo. And this is really speaking to me. So I feel like I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you, you know, but that page of wands card in reverse is saying that's not necessarily that you need to give up or that there is no why it's saying that you need to get back to that strong why you need to get back to what your motivations are and be willing to open your mind to different avenues different alternatives to getting the results that you want you know what i mean also we get frustrated when we feel like we're stopped, like we're hindered, like there are so many things that are in our way that are distracting us, pulling us in different directions. It can be very frustrating, you know, for us Virgos. Like, I'm just trying to get this done. Why is everything getting in the way? That Page of Wands card is saying, don't worry too much about that. Don't let that frustrate you. Just be willing to open your mind to find different ways to make what you want to have happen, happen, you know? It's not always easy. Things don't always just line up and our ducks just get in a row. It doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you have to run down the street and catch a duck, then come back and get another one. And then there's another duck that found its way up in a tree. You gotta go and get that one too. <laughs> and that can drive us crazy. It can, it can drive us mad, you know? But that doesn't mean that what you're doing doesn't have purpose it doesn't mean that what you're doing doesn't have reason it doesn't mean what you're doing doesn't have value it just means that you have to be a little bit more patient with the process and more patient with yourself so moving on to the moon placement we have the lover's card so this is always like dude this is some romantic stuff type going on <laughs> there's love in the air there's love in your life love in your heart it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic though this can be the lover's card can be about love within yourself love for life love for where you are in life where you are in relationships with people whether it be your family your friends your co-workers this the lover's card is about that finding balance you know what i mean there's a man and a woman there's dark and light there's um just opposites that are attracting and are assimilating in a very productive and beautiful way that's what this card is indicating that's what this is about not necessarily just romance itself definitely indicative of romance you know what i mean maybe you have embarked on a recent relationship and this lover's card is like oh, things are going swimmingly right now <laughs> or this could be about a project that you've taken on you know it's something has caused for you to fall in love with life or yourself or with a person or with a passion you know that's what this card is about and it's it's a card that's saying lean into it keep on pursuing it because when we have those feelings of abundance of love within us, it allows us to create so much more, to be productive and to make things that are beautiful. You know what I mean? When we feel good, when we feel full of love, we're able to pour that into the things that we do. We're able to pour that into the relationships that mean so much to us. And this is really great, you know, especially in around the time of the year where we're spending time with family where we're getting gifts and receiving gifts and you know spending vacation with you know the people we don't get to see for long periods of time you know this is going to feel even more fulfilling than it typically does like it's going to feel even more satisfying because you're in that you're already in that 
heightened love state. So it's like you're going to be having this positive, uh, positive feedback where it's like you get, you're giving love and then love is coming back and it's filling you up even more. So you have even more to give. So the lover's card is like you're in that positive love cycle right now and you should definitely use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage to build stronger relationships with people that you have, build new relationships, you know, use that passion to pour into your creative, your creative um, endeavors. Use that to your advantage because when you're in this state of love, you create beautiful, wonderful things that you will appreciate that people in your life and around you will appreciate, whether it be your customers, your employees, your employers, people will see it, appreciate it, and love it. And it's going to pay off very well for you. So moving on to the Nine of Cups for the Rising Placement Virgo. This is a card about contentment. You see, she's got all her cups in a row. She's sitting with her legs crossed, her arms crossed. She's content. She's good where she's at. You know, all those cups up there are full, okay? And this is a card that you feel like good about where you're at. Like, you don't really need validation from other people or from other circumstances. But if you do get it, if you do receive it, you receive it well. You know what I mean? So this is great for you. Like this is really, really good because you are at a point where you feel confident about your place in life, about who you are, about what you're capable of. And when you feel that way, you create and you do and are able to manifest great things for yourself because from this card, it's indicating you're coming from a place of security. You're coming from a place of self assurance. And maybe you don't quite feel like that right now seeing this card, but the nine of cups being present is saying that you're very well capable of this. And if you don't feel this energy right now, there are things that you can and should do so that you can have this energy for yourself because it's very achievable. It's very possible for you right now. So this may look like doing things where you're feeding into self-love, self-healing, you know, Maybe you have been having your eye on, I don't know, a gym membership because you want to get into weightlifting, you know, or you have your eye on, you know, pursuing a new passion. You want to try painting or you're feeling ambitious and you want to take on a new project. The Nine of Cups card is saying that that's going to be very fulfilling for you and that you're going to figure out how much of a capable and confident person you really are and don't be afraid go for it if you feel compelled if you feel passionate do it because it's going to fill your cups up and it's going to make you feel content about yourself and about where you are in life this is about like you know i don't need anybody else to validate me i don't need anybody else to tell me who i am you know and finding new pleasures finding new hobbies you know, doing things that we haven't done before or getting back to those things that we used to do that we just haven't done in a long time can be very good for that type of energy, for growing that type of confidence and, and um, self-assurance and security. So definitely lean into it because when you're confident and reassured, you're able to do and create amazing things. And the world wants to see what you can do. And I sure, I'm sure you want to see that for yourself too. You're capable of amazing and wonderful things. So be confident, you know, you deserve it. You have every right to be confident. <laughs> okay, Virgo. So moving on to our Oracle card that we pulled for this month, we have trust, trust the seasons, excuse me, <laughs> embracing change cycles of life, transition, growth. Our disconnection from the earth and her seasons leads us to believe that we should be in full bloom, bloom all year round, that we should grow, grow, grow without leaving space to cut back. When we focus on the never ending bloom, we forget the importance of all of life's phases. The rose, like all of nature, teaches us this every day. 
She's forever showing us to embrace the ever-changing seasons in an ever-changing world. We're not meant to stay the same. Relationships aren't meant to stay the same. Life isn't meant to stay the same. Nothing on this planet is meant to stay the same. The seasons teach us that. Night and day teach us that. Time and age teach us that. Birth and death teach us that. We may return to a place, a person, but things won't exactly won't be exactly as they were. For everything and everyone is forever changing. Nothing is static. The more we try to control things and keep them the same, the further away from the flow of life and ourselves we get. Change can be scary, and it means surrendering to the unknown of being in the in-between. To being not who you were and not quite who you'll become. It requires a trust in the transformation, in the death in order for the rebirth to occur, and a deep reverence for all the seasons of our life. The more we resist change, the further away we are from who we're becoming. When we embrace change, we embrace life and nature and are forever becoming. Soul inquiry. How can you be how can you embrace the changing seasons of your life? I hope that that oracle card resonated with you as much as it resonated with me because that I feel like that was something I definitely needed to hear. <laughs> but thank you so much for listening and for watching. I hope that the holiday seasons are really good to you, that you have a great December and that you spend it with people that you love and you find that you're in a good place. We all deserve to be in a good place during the holiday seasons. Thank you so much again. I hope you hit the notification bell and subscribe so that we can meet back in January and do this all over again. All right. Bye.